so hello guys tonight it's about my painting I continued on it I don't know yes I think you can see uh, what I did I basically worked on the curtains on the stairs I will go closer to show you more exactly what I did and a uh, few details like the bird like um, the lettering at the top the sentence <laughs> several days actually I, I never worked as much as lately in spite of the fact that I, I still have a lot of work that didn't change but uh, I think that I was kind of in the rush of uh, working on this painting for many reasons first because I was feeling like in a, a sort of emergency I think that uh, David Bowie's death uh, put me in a, in a mood when I'm like I must not wait for doing the things that I need to do because we never know what can happen so uh, I, I don't want to leave behind me not that I'm going to die right now but we never know what can happen so I'm like no I don't want to leave behind me paintings which wouldn't be finished or things that I don't finish because I'm too busy. Even if we are too busy, if we have too much work, we must find the time to do what we love because we have, I suppose, one life and we must do the most of it. And waiting, waiting for what? It's not because I'm going to wait that uh, I will have less work tomorrow or or that it will be easier tomorrow no every day it's the same so why not now and I I've been working late at night which is difficult because I don't have enough light I've been working also in the morning which is a first for me because usually I, I don't like to paint in the morning I'm not in the mood of painting but I forced myself because I wanted to I want to tackle completely this painting to to merge in it to um, to to dive in it and, and to feel it because this painting if you watched uh, my previous videos is about the song tomorrow started but it also has a personal meaning for me and uh, obviously it it has this meaning because I've been dreaming a lot about each element, uh, each thing of my painting. Uh, it comes in my dreams in the night and it means probably that uh, it really has an effect on me. That's probably why I was kind of pushing and pushing the moment to be on it but now I feel like an emergency to work on it also because of course I want to finish this one but I already know what I'm going to do next and uh, the image of my next painting is becoming so precise and so obvious that I'm now impatient to to start the next one which doesn't mean that I'm going to hurry to do this one no I want it to be right Actually, I've done the curtains twice because the first try was not completely convincing. It was more about the lines and not enough about the values, which are, you know, light and shades, you know, or shadows. Uh, so I had to rework on my curtains and I'm not... 
I'm rather satisfied with what I've done. <laughs> about the stairs because same thing I, I did something for my stairs and it was a mistake I will show you and I've redone them and it's exactly what I want now I'm not done completely with the bird it's just the first coat it has to be improved in the second coat uh, the lettering is good but it has to be precise because it's not thin enough according to me and the small details that I worked on are okay. So here is the curtain, the left curtain I worked on. It was too um, expected, like, like expected, and it's not what I wanted. I wanted that we have really the feeling that the curtain is falling and not arranged uh, or put in place by a nice way but really like if the curtains were quickly pulled and that it was not perfect and I think that I managed to do that on the left side. The right side is uh, simpler but less easy because, because it's simple so there is not much that I could do here except at the bottom here and here this is a little too there is something here that I don't like but I must let it dry because it's still fresh the lettering is here it's okay it's just that it must be precise because I think that the line is a little too thick to for my taste I want it a little thinner so I'm going to work on it and maybe put a patina on the gold because the gold is a little too shiny too fresh for me it needs to be old you know like if it was old I worked also on this detail which also needs a second coat I worked on the bird here but that is only a first coat the bird has to have its second coat and the details to give it more uh, like fluffy feather effect and I'm very glad with the stairs look at the stairs so at the beginning I made a mistake I put the light on the front on the dark side here and the shadow uh, the, the, the dark part where is now the light I, I made the contrary and that was a mistake because it's not logical if you have here a star which is coming here so the light is coming here so the light automatically is going to lighten the top of the stairs and not the sides and it it makes sense because the chair also is lightened by the star and you see the shadow is on the side and not on the top so I had to do the same thing and I'm very happy by the result because it's exactly what I wanted and the color uh, the color I, I didn't decide of the color it's, the color was already more or less here I wanted that I didn't want to make um, red stairs because it would be too much red everything would be red it, it would be too much I think but the overall impression is red which is perfect because in my mind tomorrow started is absolutely a red um, I see red when I hear the song it really has a very old dramatic effect it's exactly exactly what I wanted I must also rework on the on the rope here and the tassels but the intention is there it's coming little by little then I will probably do the couple I think it's going to be the most difficult thing to do I must also rework these things which make no sense right now but you know it's from imagination it's supposed to be more or less uh, 
kind of a dreamy thing uh, so it can't be like reality but we must at least understand what it is and then I will have to do the bottom uh, Brian Ferry and my people here but the bottom is going to be easy it's just the couple here which the couple is not going to be easy because I don't have really a true model for that and I want the couple to look uh, realistic that is some work but I'm so far I'm rather happy with what I'm doing so I'm going to give you a few tricks uh, that I used while I did that I don't know what is going on I have a light problem what is that that is strange I have a light which moves on me I don't know if you can see it okay I'm going to give you a few tricks that I used while doing that first thing usually the the artists the the classics the the masters never used some black in the paintings in their paintings that is logically the rule not logically but what we learn when we learn painting usually we are not supposed to use the black I actually didn't have the black the black that I wanted the ones that I have couldn't work for what I needed so rather than using a black what I did I used uh, I was in the red and I needed something dark with the red make the red darker in that case what you can do is simply to take the complementary color of the color you are using here it was the red so I took some dark green and when you mix the dark green with the red it gives you a kind of black and that's exactly what I did uh, for the shadows um, in my curtain it's actually it's not some black it's a mix of red and green for the blue it will be the mixed with orange for yellow it will be mixed with purple and then so it's the complementary colors once you know the complementary colors it's very easy you you will remember and you will do it easily uh, there is another way to get some black that I already told in a video but I can tell it again it's to use some burnt amber which is a kind of brown a dark brown you mix with the dark ultramarine blue or medium ultramarine blue and uh, so the the brown plus the blue gives you a very nice black that is a way to get a black so if you buy some paints usually paints can be expensive so think first of your primary colors and some white and from that you can have everything if you buy some blue some yellow and some red plus a white you will have everything you need that is a trick sometimes it's useful to know a few things to make the colors for example you have your red here and a darker color here and you want to blend the both you take a brush like this this is so we call that mongoose I know in French but I didn't know the word in English so we say mongoose in French it's mongoose uh, it's a kind of um, hair of a little animal I don't like usually to use products from animals but I must say you will never get that with a synthetic brush so if you have something like that which is rather soft you can blend between the two colors to give an ombre effect it's exactly like in makeup well I say that to the women or men who wear makeup uh, of course men who don't wear makeup have no idea what I'm talking about but basically if you brush between the two colors like that with the brush 
dry and if it's full of paint you clean it on a dry uh, rag and you go again and it blends the two colors you can do that with oil paints with acrylic it doesn't work because acrylic dries too fast to do that but that is a trick also i already showed that in a video i was doing a painting of palm trees and venice beach and i showed it so if you want to look you will have uh, an idea of what i'm talking about well for the stairs it was very simple because what i did i took some i think it's some uh, raw amber that i took yes it was not some burnt it's some raw amber which is also a dark brown that I took for the darkest part and I just added some white to give the lightened part of the stairs. Sometimes the simplest is the best. I'm trying to give you all the tricks that I've, I've been using. I'm afraid not to transmit all what I know. Uh, I know a lot. Uh, why? Because I used to be an art and craft teacher in Paris. And I, I attended a lot of trainings, which actually were paid by the company for, I was working for them and they were paying the training for me. So I've been working uh, and trained by a lot of different brands, art and craft brands. They taught me a lot of things and not only them, also artists. Um, I went to work in the studios with uh, different artists where I learned a lot of things. And anyway, I, I love learning, so I, I learn every day, even on YouTube. I very often watch art and craft videos because you never know everything. It's impossible. So we learn more and more every day. And I want to transmit that. I made a book of art and craft in 2000 uh, in France. Well, it was a very long time ago and I learned much more in the meantime. So maybe I will have, maybe one day I will do a second book if I have the possibility and the opportunity to do it. An art and craft book that interests me. So what I wanted to say is that more I'm working on this painting more I see the dramatic effect that this song and this painting have in general, but also on me. It gives me a strange feeling painting on this because it's really a mix between the song Tomorrow Started, a song that I love absolutely. This idea of the obsolescence of life, the life ending, so with the David Bowie's death in the middle, it, 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 it gets all its sense, suddenly it's even more obvious. And it's also the, the end of the, a part of my life, uh, of my past more exactly. I, I think that I'm in the rush of painting also because I'm not sure where I will be uh, the next day. When I say that, I'm not saying that I'm dying. It's just that I'm not sure uh, if I will be in the US. And uh, you know, when you paint, uh, when you all paint, you really need a lot of things. I need my easel, I need my paints, I need my brushes. I need my canvas, it takes a lot of space. I, I even managed to put some paint on my curtains. Uh, not these curtains, my, my own curtains. I don't know how I did that. Uh, when I paint, I put some paint everywhere, including on me. Uh, so it's not something easy that I can do anywhere. It's not like watercolor where you take your, you can take a small notebook, uh, you know, with paper for watercolor, your watercolor, a little water, a little brush, and you are good to go. Uh, no, oil paint means a lot of uh, things to do it. And uh, I really want to finish this painting before I have to leave, if I had to leave, by hoping I won't have to leave. I really, really like it. Usually, 
I never paint like that. I mean, I usually use a lot of different colors on a painting. But this one, it seems that it's mostly uh, red, black, gray, brown, and it remains that gold. I never did that like that. So for this week, it's going to be all, but I already know what, uh, what videos I'm going to do next week. I say videos because I have the idea of two. It will still be on Tok Tok and Marcoli still, or oh, I'm far from being done. I have even more questions in mind now. Because of David Bowie's death, I don't know, it suddenly reveals something that I didn't think about before. So you see, it's, um, it's a quest, it's a learning process, it's, um, it's thoughts. A lot of thoughts. I have the opportunity to think a lot. Um, even in my work, I'm free to think a lot, which is good. I, I hope I've not been boring. I see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>